tear down of this broken ice maker. This device here, you could be able to make blocks of ice within five minutes. And I want to tear it down and first of all, see what's wrong with it to see why it stopped functioning. And if not, I'm just gonna simply take it apart and salvage for the components. What I'm most interested in is the electrical cord, this little grill here, and this fan. And maybe there's some other components inside I might be interested in. So let's go ahead and tear it down. And let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, typically for a refrigerated type device, you're not supposed to tip it on its side or shake it around or do anything to it that's uh, rough or moving it in odd angles. Because if you do, there's a refrigerant inside and the, if the liquid sloshes around or gets tilted in the wrong area, it can cause the machine to not function correctly or at all. So I kind of think that's what might have happened. I'm not really sure, but I don't really care at the point. I just want to take it apart and see what's wrong with it and collect for the pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by simply doing something you're not supposed to do and flip it upside down. And I see a bunch of screws. some parts I'm interested in. Good. Wow, that looks cool. Oh, that's cool. That's clearly the cooling system. Ah, an AC powered stepper motor. I like these. These you can do all kinds of cool stuff with. Ah, that's a nice cooling fan. This is what's inside. Very nice. Very interesting. Oh, a little pressure switch. I like that. Okay, well now that makes sense. Here, right here, is some insulated foam. This is what keeps everything else cool. Well, that makes sense. Um, that's probably what's all in over here. Oh, and that's what this was probably for. This little part here that had uh, what looked like foam and tape. Ah, that's what that is. So clearly, this whole thing right here in this whole front area, uh, they encased it with this uh, cover, and then they put some of this expanding foam inside to be able to insulate the whole inside. That makes sense. Okay, well... Obviously, if I go and just, you know, get like a, uh, a uh, screwdriver and stab at the uh, foam, it's just going to make a huge mess. And there's nothing really in there that I'd be interested in. Except maybe this pump right here. That could be useful. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, take it apart. Take the parts I want. Simple components that are right here. Okay, oh, okay. Well, this part here is now useless. And I have a little PCB right here with some wires. I always like wires because wires can be very useful for, sp for spare parts. I'm just going to go ahead and separate it here. There we go. And some LEDs. This could be useful. Maybe I'll use this circuit. You know, actually, these push buttons and resistor and these LEDs can be useful to use for other projects. Good. Okay, so I have this little circuit board here, and I see a bunch of interesting little components. I can see the connections of all the wires that connect to the circuit. I can see... Uh, okay, see this part connects to the LEDs. That connects to the switching mechanisms. These are the little 
microcontrollers that control the circuit, and a little transistor, a relay, capacitor, resistor, more capacitors, and a transformer, and these uh, switching mechanisms. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, this is a temperature sensor, I believe. Okay. And this, I'm not really sure. But yeah. Interesting. Alright, so it's connected directly to this stepper motor. This AC stepper motor. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, disconnect some of these connections, just like that. Like that. And here is what I've salvaged from the ice maker. These are the parts that I found useful that I could potentially use for future projects and to be able to make and replace or fix things with. I have right here this drill that goes onto this 12 volt cooling fan. Both are very useful. There's a little PCB right here that contains three green LEDs and two red push button switches and a resistor, which is very, very useful. And I have this little connecting connector here that has just these wires, which are also useful. Wires can be always useful. And some more wires still useful with these little pressure switches, which is also very useful. A pile of screws, useful for anything. Power cable, also very useful. I also have this housing here that I might use or probably just discard. It also contains some wire that's also useful. A bunch of these little components that can potentially be useful. I have to look at the data sheets and see what I can use them for besides what this configuration is used for, this, besides what this circuit is used for. And what I really like is this water pump. I have some interesting ideas that I can do with this water pump. This water pump here is powered by 12 volts and I'm not sure how fast or how strong it is but I'll have to do some testings to see how it works and how well it works. But I could possibly use this for a miniature or portable chemistry to be able to attach for cooling down a chemistry distillation apparatus or anything else. I don't know. I could use this for anything. can't think of what at the moment, but I could possibly use it for something really cool and interesting. And then there's these two components that are right here, and I'm not sure what they do. I have this component here, which I assume must be a temperature regulating device. I'm not really sure what it does. I think it regulates the temperature of the coolant, or maybe the pressure. Uh, no, actually I think it regulates the temperature, because this right here must be the sensor. Or perhaps... I'm not really sure what this does. And then there's this piece here, this component. This one was connected directly to the uh, coolant system. And then there's this device right here that is connected directly to the coolant system. And I'm not really sure what this does. I think this controls the pressure, maybe controls the temperature, or maybe the flow of the uh, coolant. Since I see there's M and S, I'm guessing maybe M is for manual, and S is for system. I'm not really sure. Honestly, I have no idea what this says. But I don't think uh, these two pieces I'm going to use. To me, I think these might be useless. Unless those of you who are watching this can leave a comment down in the description to tell me what these are. Then maybe I'll have a use for them. Not really sure. So yeah, this is what I've salvaged from an ice maker, and these are the parts that I found most useful. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of an ice maker. And there you have it. Thank you for watching Sci-Tai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future Sci-Tai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.